and again thanks for joining us this is Don's graphics here in this tutorial i'll be showing you how to design a birthday flyer with the help of your pixel app application don't go anywhere because this is for you so birthday designs are the easiest kind of designs you can get from customers that's why i decided to share this step-by-step -step guide with you on how you can realize something like this just with your android smartphone using pixel app i would love to delete everything so that we can start from afresh but then i would just love to save my work as a project i think i love this one so i can just save this one as a project all right then i go to default now on default pixel app you just want to delete uh, this text and after deleting this default text you want to proceed to the top bottom top uh, right to the top right section of your design and change this width to 10 uh, 24 by 1280 so we're using a height a width of 1024 and a height of 1280 that's it click on ok and you are good to go now we have a background and i will be sharing these backgrounds with you guys so just check the um, description for the link attached so now we have the gallery i'm going to click from my gallery and this is the background that we are using so once you click on the background it will just automatically crop to this background size that we have set then you click on the check mark once you click on the check mark it's time for us to bring in the images of the birthday celebrant so we're doing this one for junior as a small kit but it's a kit with a lot of doings so we're going to bring it here uh, the swag and everything is just informed please hey tell us where you are watching from and don't forget to subscribe to the channel especially if you are coming around for the first time we share amazing tutorials on this channel regularly okay so after realizing this just crop the image to this section okay um one thing you can notice here is that i'm using very high resolution images the kind of images you use for a design actually helps to you know um, determine the final look of the design so once i bring this one i'm going to bring in another one so this is the second one and this second one is not that uh, the saturation the image sat color saturation here is not really uh, the best but we're going to adjust that with pixel app okay so just increase this also look at where i'm holding to increase especially for beginners just hold here drag along and you know increase it to almost the same size or even the same size like uh, the first one all right like the first one so bring it here um we can reduce it a bit okay then we reduce this guy also i think it was just too much uh, let's position this here neatly lock it up for now then we have this one uh, we can increase this a bit I'll position it here also but in all that you do Make sure that uh, the images are falling on the same line, uh, the same alignment, okay? So, we can lift this, lock it up, lock this one. So, we're doing the unnecessary adjustments here, guys. And we're bringing this one here. We have to bring this one here. So, just increase it a bit. Position it like so. But it should not be too close remember now if you look at this image the color saturation is not the same like this one which makes uh, the design not to be uniform so we have to use images that share the same skin tone and in order to achieve this we are going to use a, an option um, on pixel app called uh, the color filters so click on the image and go to your color filters now on saturation we are going to step up the saturation a bit so step up the saturation uh, maybe to about about 10 as you can see then you click ok now we just want to make sure that the images are of the same color grading so go to layer lock this up then subscribe to the channel now as you have realized um, we are going to put some text here but before we do that we need some some fading so how do you create the fading effect just go to shapes subscribe to the channel please click on the square shape make it um, rectangular 
to cover the full length of this screen like this and come down to gradient now on gradient what you are going to do is to click on the plus button so i'm going to show you once again how to create a fading effect okay you want to make the image to blend with the background so click on the plus button and click here and also here so let's go um we're going to reduce this color completely to this end then we click on ok and we have this now we have successfully created a fading okay you can see that so click on the check mark and we have this now we're going to pull this up pull this up right up somewhere around here and click on ok and go to color let's change the color to black okay and uh, we are going to make a copy so copy this copy this here have a duplicate of it so you can duplicate this as much as you want until you get the desired uh, um, fading that you want so we have this and um, i think it's okay so i've duplicated it twice click on the check mark and then you are good to go now after realizing this we are going to bring in some colorful um, vector images so i have them with me here i'm first of all going to bring in this one which is actually a faded kind of a vector but then since the background is it's blue i could leave it with gold but the background is really blue and I don't think that blue blends well with the golden color of this vector image. But I'm going to go to color filters and you know just reduce the hue by minus 180 to get it to this blue uh, color or this blue um, uh, point. Okay, make it blue like this. So we are going to position this one here neatly. All right, get that and make a copy. Bring it here. Okay, make a copy pull it down here like so then you lock everything up now after logging everything up, we're going to bring in another vector but this time around it's um it's the real vector it's not blurred so i'm going to crop just this tiny one i'll share all of this with you so but hey you want to subscribe to the channel right please subscribe to the channel and in fact subscribe to understand okay so i'm going to do the same thing go to color filters and reduce the hue to minus 180 then you'll get this and uh, let's reduce it let's reduce this this, this is too much I'll position it here and make a copy of this and uh, position it here also you see that good now uh we're going to lock all of this up and then we begin to write our text but then let's carefully look at this image is it really placed um, to the middle of the page so we're going to go to the layer select the two images and use the position button button to adjust it when necessary as you follow the video please can you give us a thumbs up like the video subscribe to the channel and tell us where you are watching from hello to all our uh, followers uh, subscribers from Nigeria we appreciate your consistent support to this channel hello to you guys in uh, zambia in ghana and also in cameroon if i haven't mentioned your country please type it down or drop the flag of your country country flag below so i can mention you also in our next tutorial that said subscribe to the channel and uh, let's keep doing this as i give you a detailed guide now we're going to start bringing our text like i said and the first thing i'm going to do is to go to to new text and write uh, leaf long and excel so this is just like a nice birthday wish but then you can put your own uh, it's not compulsory to use this one uh, so let's change the color to black check it out what about this okay let's use black anyways and um, we we'll go to font and the font I'm using is called Trajax Trajax okay and let's reduce it 
neatly use your lazy position to position it this way to the middle of your work and bring it a little down now go to spacing and space this out completely space it out after spacing out use little position still and then you can even reduce the text once again and position it to the middle of your work now we are going to reduce or to send down these images i think they are too um high up there we need some ample space right there okay so i think this is just fine um you always want to adjust you know adjust your design as it goes on so uh let's send up this other element let's play with it a bit okay good now after writing live long and excel we're going to bring in the name of the birthday celebrant so his name is junior put it in caps and uh, use the same black color here then go to font and the font i'm using is called uh, trajax pro trajan pro uh, you can actually download all of these fonts from the fonts.com so use your lazy position to make sure it's on the middle of your work and uh, yeah that's it so we're going to send down the text let's send them down a bit all right something like this good so this is well on course once you check and everything is moving on as planned then you know it's time for you to subscribe to the channel to understand the video more properly all right so do that please and just stay close as we do this gradually uh, so after realizing this uh, we think we're going to write the birthday wish so we're going to write happy so let me just start with happy write a simple text happy a new new text write happy okay then bring it here so we, we are going to leave this at for color white okay then go to font and the font i'm using is adoha um this kind of a premium font do i don't know if you can get this font but if you can use another font called the sunflower or any other script font uh, it will still be good for this uh, result that we want to achieve so write happy use lazy position to make sure it's on the middle and make a copy of it so i have a uh, birthday so i go to write birth okay okay so what we're going to do now is to increase this one a bit so we're using the principle or the uh, graphic design principle of size to emphasize um, on this text here so we're going to make a copy once again and write the and then we bring it down use little position to do the necessary adjustments where possible so i have happy birthday now that we have successfully achieved this the next thing we're going to do is to um to bring in the date so in order to write the date i'm going to bring in an element so i'm using this one you can use any of these but i prefer the circular uh, element reduce it in size neatly and we're going to make it also to have the same uh, blue kind of color so i'm going to color filters right away to you know change the hue to uh, 180 so increase it a bit in size position it like so okay then make a copy of this and uh, reduce it so much so that it can fit into this just increase it so make sure that it can fit perfectly into that shape like i'm doing then go to shapes select a circle after selecting a circle um we're going to use change the color of the circle go to color change it but then we're going to pick the color from that element so click on plus button and use your color picker option which is here so select the element which is this one so we're picking this 
um, color here or we can pick this darker portion so let me just show you let's pick from here this darker portion all right so i'm going to bring the color monitor here now once you check the color board here and you see that is the color that we want click on the check mark and click on ok reduce it neatly okay and uh, we're going to make sure that it it fits also into the middle of this other shape so let's check it out um we can reduce it a bit this is too much okay good so everything is well in place and i'm going to copy this text right away double tap 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 to write the date so it's february 12th We are going to write February 12th in capital letters. Then uh, we'll bring it down here. Change the color to white. After changing color to white, go to spacing and undo that spacing. Then uh, bring it here. Increase it in size so that it can be visible enough. okay then go to your board and bold the text which is on styles so bold is on styles on styles when you click on styles this b stands for bold as you subscribe to the channel please do where to subscribe thank you so much now after doing this let's go and align the text to fall to the middle so go to align and click on middle alignment very good after clicking on middle alignment you are what you want to also make the text to align properly to the middle of that shape all right you can even proceed to reduce the line spacing okay click on line spacing and you know reduce the line spacing in between that text um, to about minus eight then uh, use use your position button to make sure that this text fits so well into that shape all right good and so um how about changing the color of this text into a dark uh blue let's see all right um we can leave it at that or we can still use this dark blue let's check it out right so i think the dark blue is better okay or you can use the black color so guys that's it on how you can design this simple birthday flyer with the help of your pixel app application the least you can do right now is to you know save your work and boom that's it for the design thank you so much for watching i'm hoping to see you in our next video but subscribe to the channel all right and make sure that you've liked the video drop your comments tell me where you're watching from as we look forward to seeing you in our next tutorial until then stay blessed it's dance graphics